COVID-19 went viral, causing a dramatic loss of life globally. And then there was the job loss and disruption to social and economic systems. What else went viral? COVID-19 vaccine conspiracy theories. You may have heard of, seen, or even shared stories. There are claims that the COVID-19 vaccine will destroy your immune system or implant a microchip into your body. The dangerous thing about conspiracy theories is that they often spring from a kernel of truth. However, the truth is often misrepresented. For instance, the microchip theory may have resurfaced because of a recent report done by 60 Minutes about a new gel implant sensor engineered by the U.S. military to continuously test your blood. So, we spoke with QC alumnus Dr. Daniel Ram of the Harvard Medical School Center for Virology and Vaccine Research so that he could lend his expertise on some of the conspiracy theories surrounding the vaccines. Um, in this case, while well, you're familiar with uh, coronavirus, um, uh, this epidemic has been um, quite an emergency with so many people dying um, so quickly um, that the world needed to respond um, in a more uh, aggressive manner. So, so we think, based on the data that we have um, and the limited amount of time, that the vaccines overall are, are safe, uh, that they do more or less what we think they, they, they should be doing, which is protecting people against uh, coronaviruses. And now, um, with the new variants that are being identified, we also think that these vaccines overall uh, provide protection uh, for many of these new variants. Two popular anti-coronavirus vaccine videos have been circulating on WhatsApp featuring Vernon Coleman. He is a former doctor, anti-vaccination activist, and AIDS denialist. And Del Bigtree, CEO of anti-vaccination group Informed Consent Action Network, who also produces a program called The High Wire. They make various claims, among them that COVID-19 is not real, that the vaccine turns you into a genetically modified organism and inhibits your ability to fight other viruses. Dr. Ram shared why videos like these are dangerous. Videos like these, they're, they're sprinkled with, a, with a bits, of, bits of truth um, and then quite a, quite a few lies. And that just creates um, a difficulty in, in how we get the messaging across that the vaccines are actually overall um, pretty good and, and helpful. Um, so when we have people, um, some of whom, um, I think uh, this Dr. Coleman and um, uh, I forgot the other guy, Vitri? Yeah. Yeah, Vitri, yeah. Um, uh, saying things like this, and they have a wide audience, and the audience sort of gets concerned about um, the safety and efficacy of the vaccines. Um, and then it's, it's a lot more uh, challenging to, to, to have people really trust uh, the work that's being done. Um, then if people don't trust uh, the work that's being done, they don't take the vaccines, if they don't take the vaccines, then it's a lot more difficult to get uh, this disease uh, with uh, COVID-19 under control. So that said, I mean, as a scientist, I think it's important to, to take the concerns of people um, to really, to really take their concerns um, at, hand, at heart, um, because it is true, right? So we're doing something new um, that hasn't been um, used in widespread distribution. Uh, so naturally, you should, I think, it's fair to be concerned. Um, but what's interesting to me is that, um, so scientifically, we hold ourselves to a very high bar uh, in order to release a vaccine. We do these tests on tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of people. And before that, um, there are a lot of animal tests that, that have to happen. Um, so there's a, there's a high degree of scientific rigor that goes in before the vaccines are implemented. Um, and we go through this process and we share the reasons for why we think the vaccine is safe. Conversely, when people are concerned about vaccines and they issue videos like this, they make a lot of baseless claims without evidence. Right. So one of the claims, for example, is that um, many, many thousands of people were dying as a consequence of the, vac of the vaccination. And I would challenge them to show with the same level of rigor that we have shown that vaccines are safe, 
show with the same level of rigor that that is true. And, and, and um, they cannot do that. But what they do is they make these claims to scare people. In conclusion, Dr. Ram would like to leave his fellow Guyanese with this message. Um, these vaccine approaches aren't sinister. We're not trying to, to do something evil. Um, we're trying to do a, a general public good. Um, the vaccines so far overall have been shown to be safe, efficacious. Uh, the deaths uh, worldwide have gone down. Um, in the United States, for example, um, after vaccination, we see a marked drop in, in the number of deaths um, overall. And that's the goal, um, right? So the goal is, is hopefully we're able to, to lower um, um, uh, the, the deaths as a result of, of coronavirus. And we think that vaccination is, um, with, with, yeah, vaccination is the way to go. I am Daniel Swain reporting for the newsroom.